World-renowned Dallas pastor T.D. Jakes is named in a federal lawsuit against musician Sean Diddy Combs. It's filed by a producer that worked with Combs. It discusses how the singer planned to leverage his relationship with the bishop to soften the impact on his public image of Casey Ventura's lawsuit. Ventura is a former girlfriend of Combs who filed her own lawsuit in November alleging abuse, violence, and trafficking. It's all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. The worst that could happen if, 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 if everything was true, all I got to do is repent sincerely from my heart. Hey guys, you're going to have to sit down for this one because there's some serious drama brewing in the world of T.D. Jakes and Diddy. Yeah, you heard that right. These two have been in cahoots for a minute working together to save Diddy's image and whatnot. But guess what? Things just took a wild turn. So news drops that the FBI is sniffing around Diddy and suddenly T.D. Jakes finds himself dragged into the mess. I mean, unexpected twists, right? One minute they're collaborating and the next, they're both staring down the barrel of a federal investigation. Now, you can imagine Jakes ain't exactly thrilled about this situation. I mean, who would be? He's looking at potential trouble thanks to Diddy's actions. And let's just say he's feeling a bit, shall we say, peeved, and rightfully so. And the way we know Diddy, he wouldn't hesitate a second to save his own skin. So word on the street is, he's snitching on everybody in his inner circle. And yes, that includes people like Jay-Z and T.D. Jakes. So what's the plan? Well, you better believe T.D. ain't just gonna sit back and let this slide. Oh no, he's gearing up for a showdown with Diddy himself. It's gonna be a face-to-face -face confrontation like no other where he's gonna demand some serious answers and hold Diddy accountable for dragging them both into this mess. Yep, it's safe to say, things are about to get real interesting between these two. Grab some popcorn, folks, cause this showdown is gonna be one for the books. Jakes, you know, the big time pastor from the Potter's house in Dallas, well, he's found himself smack dab in the middle of a lawsuit alongside none other than Sean Diddy Combs. Let me catch you up on how that happened. Rodney Jones, AKA Lil Rod, a music producer for Combs Bad Boy Records, has filed this lawsuit. And what's it about? Brace yourselves. It's accusing Combs and his crew of being involved in some serious stuff like a trafficking venture. Yep, you heard that right. This civil lawsuit, hot off the press and snagged by USA Today, alleges that Combs has been up to some seriously shady business. Apparently, according to Jones, Combs has been harassing, drugging, and even threatening him for over a year. Now Jones isn't just blowing smoke here, he's after some serious cash. We're talking a cool $30 million in compensation, and he's not looking to settle this quietly. Oh no, he's gunning for a jury trial. Now that's gonna be a legal showdown. Looks like things are heating up between these big names, and it's bound to be one wild ride. But what was in the lawsuit? So in this lawsuit, Rodney Lil Rod Jones claims he's got some serious dirt on P. Diddy, including some juicy details about how he supposedly planned to use his connection with none other than Dallas Pastor to smooth over some legal trouble involving Cassie Ventura's lawsuit. There's one little mention of Jake's in Jones's whopping 73-page suit. So, what's the tea? According to Jones, he's got what he's calling irrefutable evidence that Mr. Combs, yeah, P. Diddy himself, was cooking up a scheme to use his relationship with none other than Bishop to smooth over some rough patches in his public image. Specifically, it's all tied to this lawsuit involving Cassie Ventura, whoever she may be. Now, before you go jumping to conclusions, it's important to note that Jakes isn't actually named as a defendant in this civil suit. Nope, he's just caught up in the mix thanks to these allegations about Diddy's plans. But wait, there's more. This isn't the first time the Bishop has been dragged into some scandalous rumors involving Diddy. Back in December 2023, there were all these whispers on social media about Jakes supposedly being involved in some wild parties hosted by Diddy. Crazy, right? Now here's the kicker. Jakes didn't just sit back and let those rumors fly. Nope, he addressed them head on during a Christmas Eve service at the Potter's house. So, while T.D. Jakes may be caught up in some drama thanks to this lawsuit, he's definitely not taking it lying down. Looks like he's ready to face whatever comes his way rumors and all. Well, Jakes isn't mincing his words when it comes to these rumors. He's straight up saying, look, even if everything they're saying was true, I've got a direct line to forgiveness. All I gotta do is sincerely repent. And boom, problem solved. He's putting his faith front and center, saying there's enough power in the blood of Jesus to cover any sin, no matter how big or small. But here's the kicker. He's adamant that he's got nothing to repent for in this situation. 
Let's take a step back and remember who we're talking about here. T.D., the man who founded the Potter's House back in 96. This ain't just any old church. We're talking about a massive congregation with over 30,000 members spread across not just Dallas, but also spots like Frisco, Fort Worth, Denver, and Los Angeles. Yeah, he's kind of a big deal in the spiritual realm. So when the pastor speaks, people listen. And right now he's making it crystal clear that he's standing firm in his faith and ain't about to let these rumors shake him. And it seems he and Combs have had some interesting connections over the years. Back in 2021, Jake's actually launched a sermon series on Combs cable television network, Revolt Media. Yep, you read that right. These two were collaborating on spreading the word of faith on national TV. But hold on to your hats, folks, because things have taken a bit of a turn. This week, Combs made a big move by selling off his stake in Revolt Media to some mystery buyer. That's a pretty major shakeup considering Combs was the one who kicked off the whole network back in 2013. And if that wasn't enough just last year, he stepped down from his role as chairman of Revolt Media. Looks like he's been making some big moves behind the scenes. But here's where things get really interesting. On Monday, federal officers, including folks from Homeland Security Investigations, decided to pay a visit to not one, but two of Combs' homes. Yep, you heard that right. Federal raids at Pity's doorstep. Wonder what they were looking for. So, it's safe to say the relationship between him and Combs has had its fair share of twists and turns. From collaborating on TV networks to federal raids, these two have definitely had a roller coaster ride of a partnership. And everybody involved that aided and abetted in, in Diddy or anybody who does this, Epstein and all the motherfuckers, everybody's guilty. Everybody's guilty. And many others have been added to this chaos along with TD Jakes and Diddy. Rodney Lil Rod Jones isn't holding back, folks. He's making some seriously disturbing claims, including one about none other than Oscar-winning actor Cuba Gooding Jr. Yep, you heard that right. According to Jones's lawsuit, back in January 2023, Combs introduced him to Cuba Gooding Jr., who's 56 years old, by the way. And get this, Combs just left the two of them alone in a studio on his yacht. Sounds like the setup for trouble, right? Well, trouble found its way pretty darn fast, according to Jones. He's alleging that Cuba Gooding Jr., wasted no time getting handsy, touching, groping, and fondling him in all the wrong places. His legs, inner thighs, back, you name it. It's some seriously disturbing stuff. And if you're thinking this all sounds too wild to be true, well, Jones isn't just making empty claims. Nope, he's got receipts. His lawsuit includes a photo allegedly showing Gooding Jr. with his arm around Jones, along with another picture supposedly showing Combs and Gooding chatting it up on the yacht. Mr. Combs had dominion and control over the actions of Cuba Gooding Jr. and failed to step in and stop Cuba Gooding Jr. from assaulting Mr. Jones, the lawsuit states. Yep, it's a whole mess of allegations, and things are only getting crazier by the minute. Looks like this lawsuit isn't pulling any punches, folks, and these two go back a long time. When it comes to these reports swirling around about T.D. Jakes, his camp isn't holding back. Jordan Hora the director of communications for the Potter's House and Jake's Ministries came out swinging, telling the Christian Post that all these recent claims popping up on social media about Bishop are nothing but pure fiction. Yep, you heard that right, unequivocally false and baseless. But wait, there's more. Back in November 2022, Jake's was spotted at none other than Diddy's 53rd birthday bash. His representative confirmed to the Christian Post that he was indeed there, and you betcha, social media had a field day with it. Critics wasted no time voicing their opinions about Jake's rubbing elbows with the hip-hop mogul. But, hold up, there's a perfectly reasonable explanation. Derek Williams, the executive vice president of entertainment at TD Jake's Enterprises, set the record straight. He told the Christian Post in no uncertain terms that, yes, they attended Diddy's birthday, shindig, but it was all business. They greeted the fam, Jake's even recorded a quick birthday message, and then they were out, off to their next scheduled meetings. And any talk suggesting otherwise? Well, Williams ain't having any of it. He's calling those accusations wholly unsubstantiated, unverified, and downright false. Looks like Jake's and his team are firing back against these rumors with full force. I mean, these two had more than just a passing connection. Back in 2021, they were in cahoots, partnering up on something pretty major. Jake's joined forces with Revolt Media, a cable TV network that Diddy helped create for a sermon series called Kingdom Culture with T.D. Jakes. Yeah, you read that right. These two were teaming up to bring some spiritual wisdom to the small screen. But hold on to your hats, folks, because things have taken a turn. Fast forward to November 2023. 
and Diddy stepping down from his role as chair of Revolt Media. And just recently, word on the street is that he's even sold off his stake in the company. Yep, it looks like Diddy's cutting ties with the network he helped build. So, what does this mean for Jake's and their partnership? Well, it's safe to say things might be a bit different moving forward. With Diddy out of the picture at Revolt Media, who knows what the future holds for their collaboration. But one thing's for sure, whatever they've got up their sleeves next, it's bound to be interesting. And there have been other allegations against the man as well. One of the things that really happens and seldom talked about is that there's something called grooming. And it happens in the Pentecostal church, it happens in many churches, but I'm referring to the black church specifically. <laughs> And even the rapper 50 Cent came out to talk about this once. Fruit, fruit pop is a fruit pop. It's a fruit pop, trust me. You see these little weird ass bitches and shit like that out there? I'm sitting out there for no reason. Your favorite you don't see accident bitches and be like kissing it. Like that doesn't happen by accident. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Look, look. Later you're gonna find out a little shit that I'll be saying. Oh, man. <laughs> now hold on to your hats, folks, because we've got a real doozy of a rumor making the rounds on TikTok and Twitter. And you know how social media detectives can be, they're like bloodhounds on the scent of a juicy story. So, before you dismiss this bombshell as pure gossip, let's take a closer look. According to these sources, T.D. Jakes wasn't just attending any old parties. He was apparently a VIP guest at the Shindigs, hosted by none other than the bad boy of hip hop himself, Puff Daddy. But hold up, these weren't your run of the mill parties, oh no. We're talking about some seriously next level freak off parties if you catch my drift. The kind that makes you raise an eyebrow and wonder what's really going on behind closed doors. But wait, it gets even juicier. This wild rumor doesn't just stop at partying, it also throws some shade at T.D. Jakes's sexuality. Yep, you heard that right. And if that's not enough to make you do a double take, here's the kicker. Gene Deal, the guy who used to be Diddy's security, has supposedly spilled the beans on Jakes's involvement in all of this. Now when someone with insider knowledge starts talking, you know there's gotta be some truth to it. Or at least, that's what they say. And you been to these parties, right? Oh yeah, uh, I was there when he was doing the white parties in the Hamptons in the old nine yards, so I know what goes on at the parties. It used to be secretly, you know, where people used to go to, you know, separate rooms and different rooms and they wasn't doing that out in the public. You know, so but now they don't care. Men kissing men and all this other stuff. That's just crazy. Well, strap yourselves in, folks, because Gene's dropping some serious bombs about the bishop, and it's enough to make your head spin. According to Gene, he used to look at the bishop like he was some kind of saint walking into a den of sin. I mean, we all know the old saying about sinners and saints not mixing it up at the same parties, right? But here's the kicker. Gene claims he personally witnessed Jake's at Diddy's infamous gay parties. Yeah, you heard that right? Where everything from drinking to some uh, intimate activities was apparently fair game. Man on man, woman on woman, you name it. And here's the kicker. Gene even tried to give TD the benefit of the doubt, thinking maybe he was there to set people straight and lead them down the right path. But alas, it seems that wasn't the case either. I mean, how many of these freak off sessions do you have to attend before you realize there's no turning back? And if that wasn't enough to make your jaw drop, it seems like folks online are ready to throw the book at TD, assuming he's guilty before they've even heard his side of the story. Yep, the court of public opinion is in session, and it's not looking too good for the bishop. One person wrote, why the power bottom TD jakes up there lying? People just don't make this type of up out of thin air. One thing about Christians though, their willingness to be delusional is unmatched. No one in the congregation has questions, just cheers and applause. Gene's really not holding back, huh? He's laying it all out on the table and it's got people talking. According to him, there are only two reasons why someone would be caught dead at a ditty party. Either they're into whatever wild stuff goes down there or they've got some serious business to handle with the big shots in attendance. And let's be real here, T.D. Jakes doesn't seem to fit either of those categories. I mean, as a man of the cloth, he shouldn't be anywhere near those kinds of parties, whether he's secretly enjoying the shenanigans or dealing with Diddy behind closed doors. And it seems like a lot of folks are nodding in agreement. One person even chimed in saying, a bishop shouldn't even be at this type of party. We have to be the light of the world. Preach. It's got people questioning what in the world T.D. Jakes was doing there in the first place. After all, when you're supposed to be a beacon of morality, 
and righteousness. Hitting up Diddy's parties doesn't exactly scream holy vibes, so it looks like the court of public opinion is weighing in, and the consensus seems to be pretty clear. T.D. Jakes might have some explaining to do. Stay tuned, folks. This scandal is far from over. Let's face it, Puffy's reputation precedes him. His parties are legendary for all the wrong reasons. Orgies, drugs, and who knows what else going down behind closed doors. So, the million dollar question is, what on earth was T.D. Jakes doing there? According to Gene, by cozying up to Diddy and his crew, T.D. wasn't just tarnishing his own reputation. He was dragging down the entire Christian community with him. I mean, when you're out there claiming to be a man of God, Hitting up these kinds of parties doesn't exactly scream holier than thou, does it? And let's not forget the bigger picture here. By rubbing shoulders with Diddy and his, uh, colorful associates, TD was inadvertently giving Christians everywhere a bad rap. After all, when one of your own is caught up in scandalous behavior, it reflects poorly on the whole community. So, yeah, Gene's not mincing words. He's making it crystal clear that TD Jakes' actions have consequences, and they're not just limited to his own reputation. The fallout from this could affect Christians far and wide, and people have had enough of this BS. One person even wrote, To be honest, I don't really care about the rumors about him. He's been a gay-affirming, prosperity gospel false teacher for years, so nothing would surprise me. On top of that, he denies the Trinity and other essential doctrines about Christ. Gene's not holding back, is he? He's giving us the real deal straight from the trenches of Diddy's parties, and it's enough to make your head spin. And let's be real here. We can't exactly blame Gene for spilling the tea. I mean, we all know the kind of stuff that used to go down at those shindigs. It was like a whole other world behind closed doors, with folks sneaking off to separate rooms for who knows what. But here's where things take a turn. According to Gene, it's not just hush-hush anymore. Oh no, it's out in the open for everyone to see. Men kissing men, women doing their thing. You name it, it's happening right there in plain sight. And if you think it's toned down over the years, think again. Gene reckons they've probably gotten even freakier as time went on. I mean, when you reach a point where you don't even care who's watching, anything goes, right? But here's the real kicker. Why on earth would someone in a spiritual advisor role be partying it up like that? That's the question on everyone's minds. I mean, Gene's talked to his fair share of preachers, reverends, and priests, and not one of them ever showed up at a party with him. It's just not something you'd expect from someone in that kind of position. So, there you have it, folks straight from the horse's mouth. Gene's giving us a front row seat to the wild world of Diddy's parties, and it's raising some serious questions about T.D. Jakes' choices. Looks like this scandal is far from over, and with documentaries on Diddy coming out, things can get even scarier for the bishop. Many others are also involved in all of this. And it's not T.D. Jakes has had a clear past. This man and his whole family has a lot of skeletons in the closet. Word on the street is that one of the bishop's sons got himself in some trouble in Dallas not too long ago. And get this, he was supposedly found in a park known for gatherings of the LGBTQ's community, engaging in some pretty indecent activities. Now you can imagine this news is raising a few eyebrows. I mean, when your dad is a prominent figure like T.D., you'd expect a bit more discretion, right? But it looks like his son had other ideas. And let's be real here, getting caught up in something like that is not a good look, especially for someone with Jake's reputation. It's got people wondering what's really going on behind closed doors. So yeah, it seems like the drama just keeps coming for the Jakes family. With scandals swirling left and right, it's anyone's guess how they'll weather this latest storm. So what do you think? Is the renowned pastor involved in all of Diddy's dirty business, or is he innocent? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss out on any new videos. And until then fam, keep it real.